this is my rant to the truth movement, the truth seekers, the patriots, whatever we're calling ourselves. I started out about 10 years ago reading Zechariah Sitchin, and that led me to David Icke's book, The Biggest Secret, which led me to internet research. I was a believer in the whole 2012 paradigm and everything that went along with it. I was the picture of what a majority of the truth movement is right now. That is, that they I believed 10 years ago as they believe now, which is that aliens somehow created us, genetically modified us. I believe that there were many dying and rising gods in ancient history, all of which had very similar characteristics to Jesus. And I believed that 2012 was a time of great turmoil, a pole shift and a great cleansing of people was on the horizon. I submit to you that these three key aspects are the paradigm which is so easy to find you don't have to look to find this this is the base concepts that most people are are born with in the truth movement you're not a renegade for figuring that out do you know how hard it is to find out the general consistent consensus of the channeled information about 2012 all you have to do is look turn on the TV watch the Discovery Channel for you know an hour and a half watch the History Channel for an hour and a half and you'll find all you need to know about that you can run around telling everybody how much research you did never realizing that those people that program those shows I mean, they have an agenda so the real paradigm shift for me was finding out that a lot of those concepts were served on a silver platter for me to con to consume then the real re research was well, why would these things be important to this group that I'm fighting the answer lies in a basic concept that most of us have figured out by now it almost seems too simple but it's really it's really not you know that this tyrannical group of elites that really truly do run things at the highest levels have infiltrated almost every organization of any power at the top levels have a belief system the common thing people say is well whether you or I believe it it doesn't matter because they believe it well let's run with that for a little bit these people are Luciferians now I'm not gonna say well that just proves something no 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 we can go on a very basic religious concept let's not apply any Christian dogma to it right now let's just say okay Luciferians okay that's fine well they also some that's a, this is a philosophy they do have a religion too you can call it that it sometimes can be just a uh, series of rituals that they are forced under a matter of fear to take part in a lot of times a lot of times they're forced to be by their own addictions and things like that these there are high-level satanic rituals going on among the elites and that includes child sacrifice that includes the eating of human flesh this includes things that that, that we are peripherally aware of we know they're into a lot of that thing those things so and we also know that they control the newspapers and the television and the history channel and 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 all these things that we know and and see on a day-to-day -day basis they control the school system so you can be reasonably sure that the information that they're providing is the information that they approve of so what do we see we see the same thing building up every day you see those three basic concepts being taught to us why why those three concepts because those are the building blocks for which the new new world order will be built on listen people are talking about unity everybody's saying well we need to unite so it has a lot to do with zeitgeist addendum or whatever we need this new socialist paradigm money is the problem money is the problem well 
I suggest first of all that our problem has been the infiltration of that system that was good. We don't have capitalism right now. We only have the appearance of it. But that's really not the point. People are talking about unity while dividing us by on dogmatic lines. People have said that about me for a long time, that I am dividing the truth movement. That I That's what I'm here to do. I'm some sort of agent, whether it's a uh, whatever it is today. I'm a Jesuit or a FBI agent or a CIA agent and I'm here to divide us, to keep us from being united. Oh, you're gonna be united. There's no doubt about that. I'm suggesting to you that the things that are suggested in Zeitgeist is just a ghost of what's coming. It's only the beginnings of a mindset that can only be possible after a huge amount of turmoil. The chaos that's going to ensue is going to be on such a level as to be able to bring in a vastly different system. One that will be a hyper socialistic state that nobody will disagree with. How can that happen? How can that happen? It doesn't matter if the war was absolutely brutal. How can that happen? When the new New World Order comes, you will think it is a good idea. You will not believe that it is what you've been fighting. You think that we are a small group of people that, that know about the New World Order. That's, that's not true. We are a large group. The mainstream does believe what the mainstream is told to believe, and that is even more dangerous because they will be introduced to this new paradigm, which is going to be oddly sim similar to the vast majority of the paradigm of the truth movement. They're going to believe that aliens seeded us by genetic engineering. They're going to believe in a utopia based on the idea that, that we are nothing more than the products of of genetic engineering from an alien race. There may be a religious dogma associated with it, but I will tell you this, there will be unity. We will all be united in our new understanding of our origins. We will willingly do what the New World Order has been trying to do the whole time, which is get rid of our borders and national sovereignty those things are just holding us back we will we will be united in our hatred against Christians because after all they were wrong they and they were they are the problem they are the ones holding us back they are the ones who who all these wars and all this turmoil is because of let me ask you something what if I could tell you that that general idea has been provided for you and none of it's true that not only are Christians not responsible for any of the wars but rather these same people are still responsible for the wars today that were responsible for the wars back then the Crusades were an operation by the Vatican read the New World Order the Inquisitions were to kill Christians were burned alive. In China right now, the Catholic churches meet openly, but the Christians meet in small house churches under the cover of night under the threat of persecution and death. During World War II, the Nazi regime, the Catholic churches flourished while the Christians almost outnumbered the Jews in the Holocaust. One thing that we have been told, we have never been allowed off of our leash to believe and this is crucial is that the Catholic Church is any different than Christianity I've talked to so many people that will never let go of that paradigm because if they do everything that they believe will crumble and emperors like Nero tried to eliminate Christianity they were being completely wiped out but they kept growing it was out of the control of Rome and Rome's system 